Hey guys, uh, we are going to be looking at Jeremiah chapters uh, 35 to 43 today. We're almost done with Jeremiah. It's taken a little bit longer than it should have. Uh, and that's my fault, so I apologize for that. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's good to chill. Take a look at the Word of God and uh, enjoy it. Uh, so let's pray and we'll get uh, we'll get going on it. Lord, we thank you for uh, the beauty of your Word, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for the articulateness of your Word, Lord, and how it surpasses uh, culture and time and language, Father. We do praise you, Father, for the translations that we have, Father God, that there are men and women who are dedicated to bringing uh, this word uh, into our language, into our language, into our understanding, into our culture, uh, Lord, we pray that you would bless us, Father God. Help us to get over the those gaps that exist, so that we can understand it more fully, Father. Your word is the most important word to study, and we do pray, Lord, that you would help us. As we do that, Father God, as we get into your word, as we meditate on it, uh, just lead us and guide us through it. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. <clears throat> Jeremiah, chapter 35. The word which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Go into the house of the Rechabites, and speak unto them. And bring them into the house of the Lord, into one of the chambers, and give them wine to drink. Then I took Jaazaniah, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Habazaniah, and his brethren, and all his sons, and the whole house of the Rechabites. And I brought them into the house of the Lord, into the chamber of the sons of Hanan, the son of Igdalia, a man of God, which was by the chamber of the princes, which was above the chamber of Maasiah, the son of Shalom, the keeper of the door. And I set before the sons of the house of the Rechabites pots full of wine and cups, and I said unto them, Drink ye wine. But they said, We will drink no wine, for Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, commanded us, saying, Ye shall drink no wine, neither ye nor your sons forever, neither shall ye build house nor sow seed, nor plant vineyard, nor have any. But all your days ye shall dwell in tents, that ye may live many days in the land where ye be strangers. Thus have we obeyed the voice of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, in all that he hath charged us, to drink no wine all our days, we, our wives, our sons, nor our daughters, nor to build houses for us to dwell in. Neither have we vineyard, nor field, nor seed, but we have dwelt in tents, and have obeyed and done according to all that Jonadab our father commanded us. But it came to pass, when Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came up into the land, that we said, Come, and let us go to Jerusalem, for fear of the army of the Chaldeans, and for fear of the army of the Syrians, so we dwell at Jerusalem. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Go and tell the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Will ye not receive instruction to hearken to my words, saith the Lord? The words of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, that he commanded his sons not to drink wine, are performed, for unto this day they drink none, but obey their father's commandment. Notwithstanding, I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but ye hearkened not unto me. I have sent also unto you all my servants the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them, and ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers. But ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened unto me. Because the sons of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, have performed the commandment of their father, which he commanded them, but this people hath not hearkened unto me. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, 
I will bring upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil that I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken unto them, but they have not heard, and I have called unto them, but they have not answered. And Jeremiah said unto the house of the Rechabites, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, because ye have obeyed the commandment of Jonadab your father, and kept all his precepts, and done according unto all that he hath commanded you. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Jonadab the son of Rechab, shall not want a man to stand before me forever. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 36 And it came to pass in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that this word came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Take thee a roll of a book, and write therein all the words that I have spoken unto thee against Israel, and against Judah, and against all the nations, from the day I spake unto thee, from the days of Josiah, even unto this day. It may be that the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I purpose to do unto them that they may return every man from his evil way, that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. <clears> then <throat> Jeremiah called Baruch, the son of Neriah, and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the Lord which he had spoken unto him upon a roll of a book. And Jeremiah commanded Baruch, saying, I am shut up, I cannot go into the house of the Lord. Therefore go thou and read in the roll which thou hast written from my mouth the words of the Lord in the ears of the people in the Lord's house upon the fasting day. And also thou shalt read them in the ears of all Judah that come out of their cities. It may be they will present their supplication before the Lord and will return every one from his evil way. For great is the anger and the fury of the Lord hath pronounced against that the fury of that the... For great is the anger and the fury that the Lord hath pronounced against his people. And Baruch the son of Neriah did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, reading in the book the words of the Lord in the Lord's house. And it came to pass in the fifth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah king of Judah, in the ninth month, that they proclaimed a fast before the Lord to all the people in Jerusalem and to all the people that came from the cities of Judah, unto Jerusalem. Then read Baruch in the book of the words of Jeremiah in the house of the Lord in the chamber of Gemariah, the son of Shaphan, the scribe, in the higher court at the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house in the ears of all the people. When Micaiah, the son of Gemariah, the son of Shaphan, had heard out of the book all the words of the Lord, then he went down into the king's house, into the scribe's chamber, and lo, all the princes sat there, even Elishama, the scribe, and Deliah, the son of Shemaiah, and Elnathan, the son of Akbor, and Gemariah, the son of Shaphan, and Zedekiah, the son of Hananiah, and all the princes. Then Micaiah declared unto them all the words that he had heard when Baruch read the book in the ears of the people. Therefore all the princes sent Jehudi, the son of Nethaniah, the son of Shelemiah, the son of Cushi, unto Baruch, saying, Take in thine hand the roll wherein thou hast read in the ears of the people, and come. So Baruch, the son of Neriah, took the roll in his hand, and came unto them. And they said unto him, Sit down now, and read it in our ears. So Baruch read it in their ears. Now it came to pass, when they had heard all the words that that they were afraid, both one and another, both one and other, and said unto Baruch, We will surely tell the king of all these words. And they asked Baruch, saying, Tell us now, how didst thou write all these words at his mouth? Then Baruch answered them, He pronounced all these words unto me with his mouth, and I wrote them with ink in the book. Then said the princes unto Baruch, Go hide thee, thou and Jeremiah, and let no man know where ye be. And they went in to the king, into the court, but they laid up the roll in the chamber of Elishama the scribe, and told all the words in the ears of the king. So the king sent Jehudi to fetch the roll, and he took it out of Elishama the scribe's chamber, 
and Jehudi read it in the ears of the in the ears of the king, and in the ears of all the princes which stood beside the king. Now the king sat in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire on the hearth burning before him. And it came to pass that when Jehudi had read three or four leaves, he cut it with the penknife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. Yet they were not afraid, nor rent their garments, neither the king nor any of his servants that heard all these words. Nevertheless, Elnathan and Deliah and Gemariah had made intercession to the king that he would not burn the roll, but he would not hear them. But the king commanded Jeremiel, the son of Hamalek, and Sariah, the son of Azrael, and Shelemiah, the son of Abdil, to take Baruch, the scribe, and Jeremiah, the prophet. But the Lord hid them. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah after that the king had burned the roll in the words which Baruch wrote at the mouth of Jeremiah, saying, Take thee again another roll, and write in it all the former words that were in the first roll, which Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, hath burned. And thou shalt say to Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Thus saith the Lord, Thou hast burned this roll, saying, Why hast thou written therein, saying, The king of Babylon shall certainly come and destroy this land, and shall cause to cease from thence man and beast? Therefore thus saith the Lord of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, He shall have none to sit upon the throne of David, and his dead body shall be cast out in the day to the heat, and in the night to the frost. And I will punish him, and his seed, and his servants for their iniquity. And I will bring upon them, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and upon the men of Judah, all the evil that I have pronounced against them. But they hearkened not. Then took Jeremiah another roll, and gave it to Baruch the scribe, the son of Neriah, who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim, king of Judah, had burned to the fire. And there were added besides unto them many like words. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 37. <clears throat> and King Zedekiah the son of Josiah reigned instead of Coniah the son of Jehoiakim, whom Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon made king in the land of Judah. But neither he nor his servants nor the people of the land did hearken unto the words of the Lord, which he spake by the prophet Jeremiah. And Zedekiah the king sent Jehuchal, the son of Shelemiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Maasiah, the priest to the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Pray now unto the Lord our God for us. Now Jeremiah came in and went out among the people, for they had not put him into prison. Then Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Egypt, and when the Chaldeans that besieged Jerusalem heard tidings of them, they departed from Jerusalem. Then came the word of the Lord unto the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord the God of Israel, Thus, thus shall ye say to the king of Judah that sent you unto me to inquire of me. Behold, Pharaoh's army, which is come forth to help you, shall return to Egypt and to their own land. And the Chaldeans shall come again and fight against this city, and take it and burn it with fire. Thus saith the Lord, Deceive not yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. For though they had smitten the whole army of the Chaldeans that fight against you, and there remained but wounded men among them, yet should they rise up every man in his tent and burn this city with fire. And it came to pass that when the army of the Chaldeans was broken up from Jerusalem for fear of Pharaoh's army. Then Jeremiah went forth out of Jerusalem to go into the land of Benjamin to separate himself thence in the midst of the people. And when he was in the gate of Benjamin, a captain of the ward was there, whose name was Urijah, the son of Shelemiah, the son of Hananiah. And he took Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Thou fallest away, to the Chaldeans. Then said Jeremiah, It is false. I fall not away to the Chaldeans. But he hearkened not to him. So Arijah took Jeremiah and brought him to the princes. Wherefore the princes were wroth with Jeremiah and smote him and put him in prison in the house of Jonathan the scribe, for they had made that the prison. 
when Jeremiah was entered into the dungeon and into the cabins, and Jeremiah had remained there many days. Then Zedekiah the king sent and took him out, and the king asked him secretly in his house, and said, Is there any word from the Lord? And Jeremiah said, There is. For said he, Thou shalt be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto the king of Zedekiah, What have I offended against thee, or against thy servants, or against this people, that ye have put me in prison? Where are now your prophets, which prophesied unto you, saying, The king of Babylon shall not come against you, nor against this land? Therefore hear now, I pray thee, O my lord, the king, let my supplication, I pray thee, be accepted before thee, that thou cause me not to return to the house of Jonathan the scribe, lest I die there. Then Zedekiah the king commanded that they should commit Jeremiah into the court of the prison, and that they should give him daily a piece of bread out of the baker's street until all the bread in the city were spent. Thus Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 38. Then Shephatiah the son of Matan, and Gedaliah the son of Peshur, and Jukal the son of Shelemiah, and Peshur the son of Malchiah, heard the words of Jeremiah, heard the words that Jeremiah, had spoken unto all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, He that remaineth in this city shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. But he that goeth forth to the Chaldeans shall live, for he shall have his life for a prey, and shall live. Thus saith the Lord, This city shall surely be given into the hand of the king of Babylon's army, which shall take it. Therefore the princes said unto the king, We beseech thee, let this man be put to death, for thus he weakeneth the hands of the men of war that remain in this city, and the hands of all the people, in speaking such words unto them. For this man seeketh not the welfare of this people, but the hurt. And Zedekiah the king said, Behold, he is in your hand, for the king is not he that can do anything against you. Then took they Jeremiah, and cast him into the dungeon of Malchiah the son of Hamalek, that was in the court of the prison. And they let down Jeremiah with cords, and in the dungeon there was no water but mire. So Jeremiah sunk in the mire. Now when ebed Melek, the Ethiopian, one of the eunuchs, was in the king's house, heard that they put Jeremiah in the dungeon, the king then, sitting in the gate of Benjamin, ebed Melek went forth out of the king's house, and spake to the king, saying, my lord the king, these men have done evil in all that they have done to Jeremiah the prophet, whom they have cast into the dungeon. And he is like to die for hunger in the place where he is, for there is no more bread in the city. Then the king commanded abed Melech the Ethiopian, saying, Take from hence thirty men with thee, and take up Jeremiah the prophet out of the dungeon before he die. So abed Malek took the men with him, and went into the house of the king under the treasury, and took thence old cast clouts and old rotten rags, and let them down by cords in the dungeon to Jeremiah. And abed Malek the Ethiopian said unto Jeremiah, Put now these old cast clouts and rotten rags under thine armholes, under the cords. And Jeremiah did so. So they drew up Jeremiah with cords, and took him up out of the dungeon, and Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. Then Zedekiah the king sent, and took Jeremiah the prophet unto him into the third entry that is in the house of the Lord. And the king said unto Jeremiah, I will ask thee a thing, hide nothing from me. Then Jeremiah said unto Zedekiah, If I declare it unto thee, wilt thou not surely put me to death? And if I give thee counsel, wilt thou not hearken unto me? So Zedekiah the king swore secretly unto Jeremiah, saying, As the Lord liveth that made us this soul, I will not put thee to death, neither will I give thee into the hand of these men that seek thy life. Then said Jeremiah unto Zedekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, If thou wilt assuredly go forth unto the king of Babylon's princes, then thy soul shall live, and this city shall not be burned with fire, and thou shalt live in thine house. 
But if thou wilt not go forth to the king of Babylon's princes, then shall this city be given into the hand of the Chaldeans, and they shall burn it with fire, and thou shalt not escape out of their hand. And Zedekiah the king said unto Jeremiah, I am afraid of the Jews that are fallen to the Chaldeans, lest they deliver me into their hand, and they mock me. But Jeremiah said, They shall not deliver thee. Obey, I beseech thee, the voice of the Lord which I speak unto thee. So it shall be well unto thee, and thy soul shall live. But if thou refuse to go forth, this is the word that the Lord hath shewed me. And behold, all the women that are left in the king of Judah's house shall be brought forth to the king of Babylon's princes, and those women shall say, Thy friends have set thee on, and have prevailed against thee. Thy feet are sunk in the mire, and they are turned away back. So they shall bring out all thy wives and thy children to the Chaldeans, and thou shalt not escape out of their hand, but shalt be taken by the hand of the king of Babylon, and thou shalt cause this city to be burned with fire. Then said Zedekiah unto Jeremiah, Let no man know of these words, and thou shalt not die. But if the princes hear that I have talked with thee, and they come unto thee, and say unto thee, Declare unto us now what thou hast said unto the king, Hide it not from us, and we will not put thee to death also what the king said unto thee. Then thou shalt say unto them, I presented my supplication before the king, that he would not cause me to return to Jonathan's house to die there. Then came all the princes unto Jeremiah, and asked him. And he told them, <clears throat> according to all these words that the king had commanded. So they left off speaking with him, for the matter was not perceived. So Jeremiah abode in the court of the prison until the day that Jerusalem was taken. And he was there when Jerusalem was taken. Jeremiah chapter 39. In the ninth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the tenth month came Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and all his army against Jerusalem, and they besieged it. And in the eleventh year of Zedekiah in the fourth month, the ninth day of the month, the city was broken up, and all the princes of the king of Babylon came in and sat in the middle gate, even Nergal Sherezer, Samgar Nebo, Sarsicum Rabsaris, Nergal Sharitzer, Rab Mag, with all the residue of the princes of the king of Babylon. And it came to pass that when Zedekiah the king of Judah saw them and all the men of war, then they fled and went forth out of the city by night by the way of the king's garden, by the gate betwixt the two walls, and he went out of the way of the plain. But the Chaldeans' army pursued after them and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho. And when they had taken him, they brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, to Riblah, in the land of Hamath, where he gave judgment upon them. Then the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah and Riblah. Before his eyes also the king of Babylon slew all the nobles of Judah. Moreover, he put out Zedekiah's eyes and bound him with chains to carry him to Babylon. And the Chaldeans burned the king's house and the houses of the people with fire and break down the walls of Jerusalem. Then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive into Babylon the remnant of the people that remained in the city and those that fell away that fell to him with the rest of the people that remained. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left of the poor of the people which had nothing, in the land of Judah, and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time. Now Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, gave charge concerning Jeremiah to, Nebuchadnezzar, to Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, saying, Take him, and look well to him, and do him no harm, but do unto him even as he shall say unto thee. So Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, sent, and Neb Neb Nebush Nebushban, Rabsaris, and Nergal Sherezer, Rabmag, and all the king of Babylon's princes, even they sent and took Jeremiah out of the court of the prison, and committed him unto Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, that he should carry him home. So he dwelt among the people. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Go and speak to Ebed-Melech and 
the Ethiopian, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring my words unto this city for evil and not for good, and they shall be accomplished in that day before thee. But I will deliver thee in that day, saith the Lord, and thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. For I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee, because thou hast put thy trust in me, saith the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 40 The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord after after that Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had let him go from Ramah, when he had taken him, bound in chains among all that were carried away captive of Jerusalem and Judah, which were carried away captive unto Babylon. And the captain of the guard took Jeremiah and said unto him, The Lord thy God hath pronounced this evil upon this place. Now the Lord hath brought it and done according as he hath said, because ye hath because ye have sinned against the Lord, and have not obeyed his voice, therefore this thing is come upon you. And now behold, I loose thee this day from the chains which were upon thine hand. If it seemed good unto thee to come with me into Babylon, come, and I will look well unto thee. But if it seem ill unto thee to come with me into Babylon, forbear. Behold, all the land is before thee, whither it seemeth good and convenient for thee to go, thither go. Now while he was not yet gone back, he said, Go back also to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, whom the king of Babylon hath made governor over the cities of Judah, and dwell with him among the people. Or go wheresoever it seemeth convenient unto thee to go. So the captain of the guard gave him victuals and a reward, and let him go. Then went Jeremiah unto Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, to Mizpah, and dwelt with him among the people that were left in the land. Now when all the captains of the forces which were in the fields, even they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had made Gedaliah the son of Ahikam governor in the land, and had committed unto him men and women and children, and of the poor of the land, of them that were not carried away to Babylon. Then they came to Gedaliah to Mizpah, even Ishmael the son of Nathaniah in Johanan, and Jonathan, the sons of Korea, and Sariah, the son of Tanhumeth, and the sons of Ephi, the Netaphathite, and Jezaniah, the son of Maacathite, they and their men. And Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, swear unto them, <clears throat> and to their men, saying, Fear not to serve the Chaldeans. Dwell in the land, and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. As for me, behold, I will dwell at Mizpah, and serve the Chaldeans, which will come unto us. But ye, gather ye wine, and summer fruits, and oil, and put them in your vessels, and dwell in your cities that ye have taken. Likewise, when all the Jews that were in Moab, and among the Ammonites, and in Edom, and that were in all the countries, heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant of Judah, and that he had set over them Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan. Even all the Jews returned out of the places whither they were driven, and came to the land of Judah to Gedaliah unto Mizpah, and gathered wine and summer fruits very much. Moreover, Jehanan the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were in the fields, came to Gedaliah to Mizpah, and said unto him, Dost thou certainly know that Baalus, the king of the Ammonites, hath sent Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, to slay thee? But Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, believed them not. Then Johanan, the son of Korea, spoke, spake to Gedaliah in Mizpah secretly, saying, let me go, I pray thee, and I will slay Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, and no man shall know it. Wherefore should he slay thee, that all the Jews which are gathered unto thee should be scattered, and the remnant in Judah perish? But Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, said unto Johanan, the son of Korea, Thou shalt not do this thing, for thou speakest falsely of Ishmael. Jeremiah chapter 41 now it came to pass in the seventh month 
that Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, the son of Elishama, of the seed royal, and the princes of the king, even ten men with him, came unto Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, to Mizpah, and there they did eat bread together in Mizpah. Then arose Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, and the ten men that were with him, and smote Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, with the sword, and slew him, whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. Ishmael also slew all the Jews that were with him, even with Gedaliah as Mizpah and the Chaldeans that were found there, and the men of war. And it came to pass the second day after he had slain Gedaliah, that no man knew it. That there came certain from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Samaria, even fourscore men, having their beards shaven, and their clothes rent, and having cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hand, to bring them to the house of the Lord. And Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, went forth from Mizpah to meet them, weeping all along as he went, and it came to pass, as he met them, he said unto them, Come to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam. And it was so when they came into the midst of the city that Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, slew him, slew them, and cast them into the midst of the pit, he and the men that were with him. But ten men were found among them that said unto Ishmael, Slay us not, for we have treasures in the field of wheat, and of barley, and of oil, and of honey. So he forbare, and slew them not among their brethren. Now the pit wherein Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men whom he had slain because of Gedaliah, was it which Asa the king had made for fear of Baasha king of Israel, and Ishmael the son of Nathaniah filled it with them that were slain. Then Ishmael carried away captive all the residue of the people that were in Mizpah, even the king's daughters, and all the people that remained in Mizpah, from Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, I'm sorry, from Nebuzer Adan, the captain of the guard, that committed to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, and Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, carried them away captive, and departed to go over to the Ammonites. But when Johanan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, heard of all the evil that Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, had done, then they took all the men and went to fight with Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, and found him by the great waters that are in Gibeon. Now it came to pass that when all the people which were with Ishmael saw Johanan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, then they were glad. So all the people that Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah cast about and returned and went unto Johanan, the son of Korea. But Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, escaped from Johanan with eight men, and went to the Ammonites. Then took Johanan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, all the remnant of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, from Mizpah, after that he had slain Gadaliah, the son of Ahikam, even mighty men of war, and the women, and the children, and the eunuchs, whom he had brought again from Gibeon. And they departed, and dwelt in the habitation of Chimham, which is by Beth, Beth, Beth Pahelem, to go to enter into Egypt, because of the Chaldeans, for they were afraid of them, because Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, had slain Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, whom the king of Babylon made governor in the land. Jeremiah, chapter 42. Then all the captains of the forces, and Johanan, the son of Korea, and Jezaniah, the son of Hosh Hoshiah, and all the people from the least even unto the greatest came near, and said unto Jeremiah the prophet, Let, we beseech thee, our supplication be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy God, even for all this remnant, for we are left but a few of many, as thine eyes do behold us, that the Lord thy God may shew us the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. And Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you, behold, I will pray unto the Lord your God according to your words, and it shall come to pass. 
that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it unto you. I will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, The Lord be a true and faithful witness between us, if we do not even according to all the things for the which the Lord thy God shall send thee to us. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us, when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. And it came to pass after ten days that the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah. Then called he Johanan the son of Kareah, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people from the least even to the greatest. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord the God of Israel, unto whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him. If ye, if ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you, and not pull you down, and I will plant you, and not pluck you up. For I repent me of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, saith the Lord, for I am with you, to save you, and to deliver you from his hand. And I will shew mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you, and cause you to return to your own land. But if ye say, We will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your God, saying, No, but we will go into the, hand, into the land of Egypt, where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread, and there will we dwell. And now therefore hear the word of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, If ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt, and go to sojourn there, then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye feared shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt, and the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt, and there ye shall die. So shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, and none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, As mine anger and my fury hath been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured forth upon you when ye shall enter into Egypt. And ye shall be an execration, and an astonishment, and a curse, and a reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. The Lord hath said concerning you, O ye remnant of Judah, go ye not into Egypt, know certainly that I have admonished you this day. For ye dissembled in your hearts when ye sent me unto the Lord your God, saying, Pray for us unto the Lord our God, and according unto all that the Lord our God shall say, so declare unto us, and we will do it. And now I have this day declared it to you, but ye have not obeyed the voice of the Lord your God, nor any thing, for the which he hath sent me unto you. Now therefore know certainly that ye shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, in the place whither ye desire to go, and to sojourn. Jeremiah chapter 43 And it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people all the words of the Lord their God, for which the Lord their God had sent him to them, even all these words, then spake Azariah the son of Hoshiah, and Johanan the son of Kareah, and all the proud men, saying unto Jeremiah, Thou speakest falsely. The Lord our God hath not sent thee to say, Go not into Egypt to sojourn there. But Baruch, the son of Neriah, setteth thee on against us, for to deliver us into the land, into the hand of the Chaldeans, that we might, that they might put us to death and carry us away captives into Babylon. So Jehanan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces, and all the people obeyed not the voice of the Lord to dwell in the land of Judah. But Johanan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces, took all the remnant of Judah that were returned from all nations, whither they had been driven, to dwell in the land of Judah, 
even men and women and children and the king's daughters and every person that Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had left with Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Baruch, the son of Neriah. So they came into the land of Egypt, for they obeyed not the voice of the Lord. Thus came they even to Taphet, Tapa, Tapanis. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah and Tapanis, saying, Take great stones in thine hand, and hide them in the city in the brick kiln, which is in the entry of the Pharaoh's house in Tapanis, in the sight of the men of Judah. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and take Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will set his throne upon these stones that I have hid, and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them. And when he cometh, he shall smite the land of Egypt, and deliver such as are for death to death, and such as are for captivity to captivity, and such as are for the sword to the sword. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them and carry them away captives, and he shall array himself with the land of Egypt, as a shepherd putteth on his garment, and he shall go forth from thence in peace. He shall break also the images of Beth Shemesh that is in the land of Egypt, and the houses of the gods of the Egyptians shall he burn with fire. God bless the reading of his word today.